Missed. Uh, the first shock of the women's singles discipline with the number 15 seed Lena Kiersville going down to Vuti Trang of Vietnam. We've got another women's singles coming up uh, next in the form of Akane Yamaguchi, the number one seed from Japan up against Yoja Min of Singapore. Well, obviously, this match must be from the top of the draw because it features the number one seed. And, in fact, the winner of the match we are about to watch will play against uh, the player who's just caused the upset, Vu Thi Trang of Vietnam. Rachana Kintanon, the former world champion from six years ago, she's also through to the third round. So is Gregoria Mariska Tunjun, former world junior champion and number 14 seed. Look how there was three players from Thailand in that little section of the draw. Intanon Jindapon and Ongbang Rangpan. So as far as our two players for the next match, Akane Yamaguchi, the 22-year-old, her win-loss record translates into 23 finals of 13 career titles, including four this year. Her opponent, Yu Jamin from Singapore, five finals and three career titles, one this year. The recent Hyderabad Open, the Super 100 tournaments. Now, as far as I'm concerned, oh. I think Yu Jamin is very similar in style to the former world number one, Tai Su Ying. She's very creative. She's got lovely, lovely skills. I don't know if you have you seen her before, Morton? Have you seen her play? Yes, I have. I've actually seen her on a number of occasions because she played in Denmark last year. She played for the other Aarhus club. AB. It, it's all it's, happening it's, it's, in Aarhus. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? I, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, this will be the third meeting between the two players. Last time they met, both previous meetings won by Kane Yamaguchi, but the last time they met was in the second round of the Babington Asia Championships in Wuhan earlier this year. 21-17 in the deciding game. Yamaguchi won in 47 minutes. So do not think this is a foregone conclusion. It was a tough old battle in Wuhan for the 22-year-old from Katsuyama City in Fukui in Japan. Enjoying her sixth week in total as world number one, her second spell. This is her fourth consecutive week on her second spell. And incredibly, this is her third consecutive world championship and the third consecutive time she has been seeded either one or two. That is remarkable. Two years ago, she was the number one seed, lost in the last 16. Last year, she was the number two seed and got a bronze medal. That is extraordinary, isn't it? For a 22-year-old, only ever seeded one or two in three consecutive world championships. So to her opponent, who's a couple of years younger, she's only 20 years of age, currently 32 in the world ranking, has been three places higher, as you can see. Born in Singapore, but both her parents from Malaysia. And she is now coached by Mulyo Handoyo, who was the former coach of the former world champion and former Olympic champion, Taufik Hidiat. Well, in her first match, she beat Alia Dimabad of Turkey. Two straight games, symmetry in that scoreline, 13 and 13, 38 minutes. Uh, but when she won in Hyderabad uh, just recently, she bought, beat the Korean young sensation, Ansi Young in three games. I thought that was a tremendous result as we look at our court officials for this one. Amahadu from Mauritius and Chiapini from Italy. My goodness, the Ready court officials play. have a busy day, don't they? I think it's two matches on, one match off, isn't it? They rotate like that. It's not only us. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody's working hard here. Yeah.
was amazing to think that actually Yamaguchi qualified for the last four World Championships in 2015 in Jakarta. She chose not to compete in the World Championships and instead played in a high school team competition. There was an awful lot of talk at the time Ladies about her decision to do that. On my right, Yamaguchi Akane, Japan. Just like Tai Su Ying. She chose to not play the World Championship one year, 2017. So the world number one and number one seed gets this match underway. Akane Yamaguchi against Yulsha Min. Yeah, you're quite right, right Morton, about Tai Su Ying, but she played in the World Love. University Games, I do staged in her home country. I think that's a little more of an acceptable decision to do that rather than playing in a high school team competition. I was merely pointing out that she chose not to play <laughs> the World you're Championship. And quite right too. And I think that's, you know, just facts. It is, but the thing that bothers me about both those decisions and we really want to be concentrating on the game, but I just want to make the point, is that I think both of them had that belief. And in fact, Tai Su Ying verbalized it and said there'll be plenty more opportunities. Sport is about taking your opportunity when it arises. Yes. You cannot rely. You don't know what's going to happen. Are other players going to come up and be better? Are you going to get injured? You have to grasp your opportunity Seize when it's the there. Day. Seize the day. I so agree. And that was a lovely, lovely shot there by Yo Jamin. Good. Attacking. Yeah, she's found a, a little bit of weakness in uh, Yang Maguchi's deep forehand corner so far from it. Uh, Yo Jamin. Well, you have to look at the form that Yamaguchi has come into these World Championships. She has not only won the last two tournaments that she played, two titles in two weeks, the Indonesian Super 1000, and her home event, the Japan 750 event, that was her second Japan Open in her third final. Uh, but she has been in at least the semi-final of her last eight tournaments. Good. Five finals in ten tournaments this year. Yes. That's impressive. It is, and she's won four of them. Yep. In fact... Oof, I thought for a moment she hadn't taken putting that final one away seriously enough, but in fact she had. Her only blip was her first tournament of the year, which was the Malaysian Masters 500. She lost in the first round, and that was her first first round loss for over 33 months and that's, 45 tournaments. That's outstanding. Consistency. Yeah. Outstanding consistency. Outstanding. Yeah, she's definitely one of the uh, top favourites to Play. take this world title, but I was slightly concerned where I saw a report somewhere where coach uh, Park Jubong was mentioning that uh, perhaps uh, she was having a little bit of trouble with her back. Oh but, dear, I didn't read that one. But whether that is correct or not, uh, I'm not to say. Yeah. Seven. I have to say, I did wonder when I was in Tokyo whether she had peaked a little too early. Again, you know, this about peaking is, is really tricky. Yes. I don't think you can actually choose to peak at one particular event. Yeah, but you can try and build. But if you're winning at the tournaments building up to the World Championships, you're not going to say, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to lose because I want to save myself for the World Championships. You, you get on and you win. I would much, much rather be in the situation as Yamaguchi is in having won Indonesia and Japan and then coming into the World Championship yes. with two wins. I agree wholeheartedly. Eight, 
I'd like to come into a world championship with any wins. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so agree. <laughs> but what a good start here by the youngster from Singapore. Really playing fast. With nice deception. She so reminds me of Tai Su Ying, her style of play. And she's very fast and she's got a very, very good smash as well. No, oh, this wasn't in the script, really, as far as this lady was concerned. Yeah, that's slice. A, wonderful shot. a vicious slice straight down the line. The racket head comes through so quickly that opponents think it's going to be a smash, but because it's a glancing blow, the shuttle just dies. There is the man that I was talking about, Mulio Handoyo. Not only guided the career path of Taufik Hidiat, I think he made a considerable difference during his time in India, especially with the men's singles players. Yeah, he was in India for, what, two, three years? Uh, I'm not sure it was as long as three years, but it was certainly a, a, enough time to make an influence. And uh, then straight to Singapore. Yeah. 11-5. Black. Oh, I don't believe that. I do not believe it. Look at that skill at the net. She played a tight spinning net shot. Her opponent hit a spinning net shot in return, and then she hits a third one. Yeah, here it comes. Oh, that's where we got the lift. Oh, that's ridiculous. That's so good. Yeah, but I, I must voice my concern here. I can understand that uh, Yamaguchi might have a bad start. It's uh, the first match in the tournament and, and all that. But if the bad start is based on the fact that she's got a bad back, then I'm concerned. Yeah, I'd be concerned too, yeah. Straight slice from the round the head position it was well anticipated this time by Yamaguchi. Oh, oh that's quick. Yeah. Well, on the fun side again, uh, I can tell you that Yo uh, Jiamin is actually a very good chef. She's a good cook because when she was in Denmark, uh, she liked to have sort of food of her own. So she started cooking herself. And uh, the friends I know said that the food was really delicious. Ah. So, so she's a good cook. Oh, yes. Well, she's playing almost faultless badminton at the moment. What on earth does Yamaguchi do? Just assuming the 
rumoured back injury is not too serious. Does she just try and hang in and work her way into the match or should she be trying to change her tactics? She's got to work her way back into it or at least try to get some points. Um, but there's no doubt so that uh, Yo Jia Min is, is the one that's controlling the pace and everything and uh, Yamaguchi have to opt the pace. She's got to start playing faster than this. Oh, well, that would have been simply outrageous if she'd made that. That seemed to be a reverse slice. Back angle, cross court, angled shot. Sixteen. Yeah, she doesn't seem as fast as she was last month when she won her two titles, Yamaguchi. No, and she's, she's not going for the shots in the same way. She's not trying to retrieve them in the same way as what she normally does. She's definitely a little bit hesitant. 18, 10. I can't take away from uh, Yo Jamin that she has played well. She's, she's, she's played really well. She certainly has. So we saw 11, 18. That body language concerns me as well. Yes, it does. There's her coach, yeah. Choi Sung Bum. herself at all, does she? Game point 12. Eight game point Nine. opportunities for Yo Jia Min. It's 
going wide. Yeah. Yamaguchi dictating the pace a little bit better in that rally. 13, 20. Oh, challenge. Yeah, we have a challenge. It's challenging. The umpire almost did not see it. Here we go. Is it the end of the game? No, it's not the end of the game. Good challenge. Correction out. 14, 20, black. That's nice. That's very, very nice by Yo Jamin. And the opening game thoroughly deserved against the world number one. Look at that. Amazing shot. Great reactions. And it's not just reactions, it's speed of thought to realize that a block across court would be the winning shot. 21 14 opening game in 15 minutes. So has the number one seed, second Akane game. Yamaguchi, Love got any answers here in this second game Left. against Yo Jamin of Singapore? Now, Morton, I've just checked the record books. We haven't had a number one seed Lose. even medal at the last two World Championships. In all five categories? No, no, in the women's singles. Oh, OK. In the women's singles. Oh, OK. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Last time we had a number one seed actually win the tournament was in Jakarta, Carolina Marin. Yeah, 2015. Yeah. So one, number one seeds in the women's singles discipline have been struggling of late. That's extremely decisive at the net there by Jamin. It is, isn't it? I know that when Yamaguchi was the number one seed two years ago in Glasgow, she lost her second match that she played, which was the third round, the last 16 of the tournament, lost to Chen Fei, who ended up getting a bronze medal.
was she was early enough was Yamaguchi. Uh, technically, her execution was poor. Yeah, but it's normally not a shot she would miss, in all honesty. She, as you rightly say, she's there early. She's got all the options in the world to play. But it's good to see that coach is, is still very, very encouraging. Service over. Two, three. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. She's up the pace, as Yamaguchi, in that rally. Pace of movement. The thing is that if it's just a discomfort, it's, it's more possibly sitting in, in her mind and she's yeah. got to overcome that. If it's, it's, if it's pain, it's totally different. But if it's just discomfort, then it's about believing, OK, it's not so bad, I can actually do it. Yeah. Backhand, low serve. Yeah, lovely. That, to me, Morton, says that she's worried about the deception of her opponent's overhead. Does it? Normally, she would always get a shot like that. In all honesty, she would get it back. There, there, there is something here, I have to say. Physically. Yeah. Wrong with Yamaguchi. Just delightful. Six, three. Oh, what a net shot. What a net shot. So it's over. Lovely block. Yeah, good defensive shot there. Six, all. And of course, I'm hugely annoyed by the fact that you haven't asked me, you know, who won the toss. Because <laughs> Yamaguchi won it and she chose to serve. And now I've, you know, I've been waiting for how long? 23 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Martin. I just want to get back at you. <laughs> Yamaguchi is afraid Seven, of six. her opponent coming forward and her skills. She's got really, really good skills and nice yeah. deception and good yeah. pace and good power. So uh, she's definitely a player to watch for the future. Might be a player to watch for this tournament for all we know. Yep. Where well, she's playing at the moment. Yeah, you never know. If she can beat uh, Aung Se Young, then of course, 21 19 in the third game. Thank 
the silver, seven, oh. What do you know about your charming's stamina? She's fit. Yeah, okay. She, she's fit. That's not a problem. So it's not just well, fast, she's got good stamina. She is, she's very fit. Sometimes her shots are letting her down and she's making too many mistakes and all that. But as Seven. she's growing up and getting more mature as a person, as a, a badminton player, then she will cop down on the mistakes and all that. But it, in the beginning, it's mostly been mistakes in terms of racket mistakes. But isn't no. that very, very reminiscent? Seven. So not only in style, but also the way that Tai Su Ying developed because she burst onto the way world stage as a 15-year-old, mm. reaching the final of the Singapore Open as a qualifier, turned 16 on finals day. And, and she was erratic. I mean, it, you don't have to go back two and a half years and Tai Su Ying wasn't seeded mm. at the Indonesian Open one. when she won it. Yeah. You know, and then she becomes world number one for 120 odd weeks or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, I think there's a lot of similarity in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So once they've sort of grow up and get yeah. get it together, then suddenly it's 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 working out. But wouldn't you, with your coach's hat on, not with your playing hat on, with your coach's hat on, wouldn't you prefer to have a player that has worked on developing the sort of skills that Yo Xia Min has developed and gradually make those skills more and more consistent rather than having a player that's just very consistent as a junior and then you've got to teach them new skills to get further in badminton? Oh, no doubt. I would choose the first one any day. Yeah. Of course yeah. you would, uh, yeah. yeah, no doubt. Sometimes you have a situation where the one with all the shots and the understanding is possibly a little bit lazy, and that yeah. can be quite tricky. Yeah. That can be tricky to work with. But that's not the case of uh, Yo Jamin. No. Ten, nine. Longest rally so far. Well, I think Yamaguchi is doing well. She's hanging yes. in here. Yeah, she, she is, is really hanging in. That's good. And maybe if she can win this one, nobody knows about what's going to happen in the next few days. Maybe she will recover, get better, get more confidence and so on, and work her way into the tournament as well. So let's Eleven not uh, write her off. In So it is indeed the world number one who has the advantage, two-point advantage here in the second game, on a run of four straight points. I do like the way that, obviously, Mulyo Handoyo is encouraging this sort of exploration with her racket skills and to see what's possible, what can be done, what sort of spins can you create? Because too often, in my humble opinion, and I'm not a coach, but it appears to me that coaches are so focused on results rather than personal development of the player that they say, well, you're losing this match because you made too many mistakes. Instead of saying you played some great shots, we need to make those great shots more better, better and more consistent. Yeah, I, I so agree with you, especially in the junior years. Yeah. You see it so often. No, don't do that because then we're losing. Yeah. Don't even think that. It's, it's a development. It's a process. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, she has been superb at the net. 10, 11.
Oh, yes. And I think more rallies like that where she is pushing this youngster from Singapore all around the court, working the rally first. I think that's going to suit Yamaguchi more and more. Out. That's oh, cool. Dear. That's cool. So well left. Over. Yeah. 11, 12. Goes down as a service error. Uh, it's called out, but uh, Yamaguchi takes the challenge. What was your feeling, Morton? I can't give my opinion anymore. No, no, it's always wrong. yours is not valid. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Yamaguchi is uh, unsuccessful. Here we go. Yeah, and you're right, Morton. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 12 is really getting very, very serious for the world number one. And you're right, Morton, I haven't researched as to whether a, a number one seed in the women's singles has ever been beaten in their first match. No, it's happened at the All England Championships, but I don't know about the Worlds. So the silver. I'm happy I can ask the questions now and again. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'll be swatting all night now, don't you? I know, and then I will get full revenge tomorrow. <laughs> but the thing is, tomorrow you are with Steen Peterson, and uh, so I'm off the hook, and you will have forgotten in the days to come. Just look at the body language after the rally. Yeah. That is very, very concerning for it is. all Yamaguchi fans. Yeah, it doesn't look good. No. And I can't help wondering why she's playing if she's really having this issue. Because of what we talked about earlier, in my opinion, that you've got to try. You just don't know until you try. You've got to try and grasp the moment. If you don't even try... But there's always a degree, isn't there? There's always a degree of trying, you know. Is it possible? Is it not possible? Yeah. And she's, yeah. she's definitely not playing to her best. Far from. No. No. British Open so one year, and I can't think 15, of what year it was. 17. Tiger Woods, his final round, 
he walked around the course and played and won with a broken leg. I heard about that, yes. Yeah. You don't know until you try. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> It's gone wide. It's, I'm sensing it really has to be now or never as far as Yamaguchi is concerned. That, that is a super shot again. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. Go and have a towel down. Yeah. Oh, the umpire didn't spot it because he wouldn't have allowed it if he had seen that instruction from the coach. Yeah, it's coming now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a little bit naughty. Take your time, compose, get ready. Good shot by Yamaguchi. Clever to attack the body. Cotting down on the angles that uh, Yo Jiamin can play in her defense. a good lift from a very tricky shot. Found the line and the yell of delight at her success from uh, Yo Jia Min. Oof, my goodness, that was close. Oh, I think I probably would have challenged that. 17. Two point advantage and two points away from putting out the world number one here at the World Championships. Wait. Nineteen seventeen. Oh. Fine margins between success and failure. gone wide, it's match point opportunities for Yo Jamin of Singapore match point against the world number one, Nakane Yamaguchi. It's gone wide, and the number one seed. Akane Yamaguchi has been beaten in her first match here at the 25th World Championships. Yo Jamin of Singapore has caused the upset of the tournament so far. What a victory for the 20-year-old from Singapore.
21-14, 21-18, the margin of her victory. Just under 40 minutes, 39 minutes of play. And that is nothing short of sensational for this young Singaporean. My goodness me. Well, I said as we came into the match that she was hugely talented. I think you were right, Morton. There was clearly something wrong physically with Akane Yamaguchi, but take nothing away from Yo Jamin, who was sensational today. Her skills, her range of shots, and her coolness when it got so tight in that second game. We can only applaud these two players, and especially from Yo Jamin. Two straight games. 21-14, 21-18. She's beaten the number one seed in 39 minutes. Well, it's all been happening here today, day two of competition in St. Jakob's Halle here in Basel. Uh, two upsets. I thought it was a bit of an upset with our women's singles with the number 15 seed, Alina Kiev.